Hi, this is Kellyanne here. I'm here today to talk to you about how to make super easy step cards. So here are some of the step cards I've made before. And I keep getting asked, ooh, how do you knock those up so quickly? Um, and it, you, I've done the proper tutorials on how to do it. Uh, and then I devised my own way of how to do it super quick and really easy. And so that's what I'm here today to show you how to do. So you can see they're very full and generous cards. They look great, but they're really, really quick and easy to do. So I'll show you what materials you're going to need. Essentially, you're going to need cards. I just get the Kaiser Craft um, pre-packed square ones. These are done, so they're 140 millimeters by 140 millimeters. Then we have a pack of collectibles and matching paper, or paper with matching collectibles, whichever way you want to go. So this is just a Kaiser Craft piece of paper. All their ranges have a piece of paper which is divided into 12 little segments that are roughly 3 by 4 inches long. Um, and that's basically the size that you need that suits these cards really well. And yeah, matching collectibles to decorate with. So let's get to it. Follow me and I'll show you how it's all done. Right, so here's a card, one of the Kaiser Craft cards. And I'm going to start by using the cutter. Now there were some other little bits and pieces where you need, you know, scissors, double-sided tape, some sticky tape, a scorer and a ruler. Um, but basically with the tape we're going to start by, I mean the tape, the card, we're going to start by cutting it. Um, always make sure that your fold is on the top. I've actually done it on the side, it just doesn't work anywhere near as well and it's a bit dopey. Anyway, so we're going to start with the score on the top, the fold on the top. I'm using the very edge of my cutter to, to measure. That's how technical I am with this. Um, you, it's roughly one and a quarter inch or three centimeters. You can actually make this as wide or as small as you like. Um, it's really up to you. So cut it, but I always stop roughly as far from the bottom as I am from the side, leaving a square there. So make sure it's cut through both sides of the card. Flip it over, do the same to the other side. So you've got an equal cut on the other side. Now once you've got this, we're ready to go with scoring it. So you'll need a ruler or the piece of edge of something straight and a scorer or the edge of something blunt. I'm actually going to use my mat in the background to work out an inch and a quarter so that it is square. But you're what, yeah, we're looking for a squares right here on the end. So we're going to score it from the cut back, and then you want to do that square one more time again. So you've got a square here and an exact square here. Then we take it and we fold the front one, first one back, and the back one forward. And in fact, the best way to do it is to turn it over and line it up with the edge of the card and that should roughly be where your score takes you to if it doesn't it doesn't really matter you can actually see this one's a little bit longer than this one and you know what not even that will matter in the long run so just force those down so that your folds are made and then take return your card to the true shape it is the true square line up your two bottom corners so it's just right your cards return to the normal folding pattern then force these ends down and that's your basic step card ready to go. The one thing you will sacrifice with making these cards this way, because they're pre-folded, you have this little foldy line in here. But you don't have to worry because when we decorate, we fix all that up. So I'll grab my collectibles, rip them out of the packet, and then choose some bits and pieces to do. My key for the corners is to grab a big one like this and cut right down the center. And then you stick half to one side and half to the other. That's the quickest and easiest way of getting a really groovy little embellishment happening, but also blocking that fold line there. So I'll just quickly do the other side. And it doesn't matter how far up or over it goes out to the side or anything like that because, look, truly... Um, they're not going to fit back into their original envelopes like this, but you can make or buy a larger envelope anyway to sort of compensate for that. Next, you want a panel in the middle, and that was that big piece of paper. Here's some I prepared earlier that I've chopped up, and you just really, you know, you want to pick one. Choose one to stick on. Tape them up on the back again. And 
and stick it out. You can ink edges. You can create beautiful sayings and things. You know, don't let anyone stop you. Go nuts. <laughs> and then you'll want to decorate down here. And this always looks really good, sort of 3D'd or with different levels through it. I'm just going to cut an embellishment in half and then mount another one over the top. Sort of get that in there. It, it does look really good 3Ding this bottom bit though because it will actually give it that um, almost like a fourth step look to it. And here's another, just a big one. This one I'm going to put some 3D squares on the back of. You can use half size, half thickness, full thickness. Um, and you can do it on either. You can have little 3D things here as well and that'll create even more. I have one card that has up to seven different thicknesses on the one card just by using the steps and 3D tape to do it. So I'm just going to... You will have to make your bottom edge always has to be flat. So you'll have to chop anything off that's hanging over the bottom because the card does need to sit flat. So there we go. And... You know, any sort of saying you want, I'll just grab one out of the collectible pack and then we put some 3D tape on the back of that. Some dots. And this is where you put your happy birthdays or whatever's going on, whatever your card is for. And it's always lovely to finish with um, like a little embellishment that sits out and over the side. I think butterflies and birds are perfect for that. You'll see them on almost everything I do. And that is pretty much it. That's your simple, easy step card done. Um, and yeah, just feel free to email me if you have any questions. But otherwise, there it is.